Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Kindly like, share and subscribe. Today we're unlocking the secrets of Google Gemini AI. If you have a Gmail account, then Google must have notified you that its AI platform Bard is now Google Gemini. So let's go into what is Google Gemini. Imagine having a futuristic personal assistant or a supercharged Google search engine and maybe like a, a creative powerhouse all in one that's essentially what google gemini is this is unlike basic chatbots this ai utilizes cutting edge machine learning to understand your needs so let's get started with google gemini so to get started you need to visit the website that's the link right there and you have to open an account so this ai isn't available on the paid version for google workspace but you can use it on your normal email address so let's navigate the Google Gemini page. Um, so welcome to Google Gemini. Let's go over the settings and control. So starting with the help menu, there's the privacy hub. Um, this primarily contains everything you need to know about privacy. I encourage that you check it out. For the most recent update, you can click on updates and here are the latest updates as at um, the 8th of February 2024, which includes that um, barred is now Gemini and the details about Gemini advanced then also information about the Gemini app and so much more so it's important that you check out the updates every now and then Gemini is not available in every country however it's available in 40 languages and over 230 countries so to find out you just have to like scroll here to find if your country is here my country is here I'm from Nigeria and Nigeria is here. So let's get back to the menu on the Gemini page. So still on the help menu, you can click on help to get help and you can also click on having help personalized. So there's the FAQ. If you have any question about Gemini's AI functionality, then you need to check out the FAQ. The FAQ answers a lot of questions. Please note that the responses given to your prompts at times might not be 100% accurate. So let's get back to the menu. From the menu, you can access Gemini Advanced. There is a cost to Gemini Advanced, but it comes at no charge for the first two months. The Gemini Advanced is for advanced tasks like coding and so much more. Do check out the Gemini Advanced option as it provides so much in-depth, um, I would say, further AI assistance. So next up, we're going to check out um, the Google Workspace integration. And this is something that I really like. I feel the integration is the coolest feature. Let's get into the Google Workspace integration. So on the menu, click on settings and from settings, click on extension. You can extend your reach to your Gmail, Google Doc, Google Drive. It is truly a virtual assistant. Also, you can access um, Google Flights, Google Hotels and Google Maps. So you can equally search YouTube using Google Gemini. And I like the fact that prompts are added here so you can just use this prompt okay so still under settings um you can change your team from light to the dark team i like the light team though you can also choose whether or not to get real-time responses on gemini there is an important privacy message about how the conversations are processed by human reviewers this is based on privacy and machine learning Generally, when using Google Gemini, don't enter anything you wouldn't want a human reviewer to see or you wouldn't want Google to use in improving conversations on Gemini. However, this does not extend to your personal information on your Google Workspace. To learn more, visit the Privacy Hub and understand your privacy and protect your privacy. Let's try a prompt on Google Flights. So to enable the information here, you just need to use at and here I have at Google flight best flights from Lagos to Switzerland. And this will provide um, a very clear detailed response with a disclaimer of the possibility of the responses being wrong. So for the verification will still be required here. And next off, 
we will try um, a prompt on Google Hotels. So the question at Google Hotels, what are the best hotels at Victoria Island, Lagos? And again, a detailed response is provided, but with a disclaimer. And this disclaimer is definitely needed because in 2024, with the inflation, these prices are definitely inaccurate. Let's try the Google Maps. At Google Maps, what's the best place to get soya? Okay, not soya. Soya at Victoria Island, Lagos. Okay, so it's been a minute I had soya, so let's check it out. And again, a clear response is provided, but this does not have any disclaimer, so there's a possibility it might be 100% accurate, who knows. Anyways, in case you're wondering what soya is, let's ask Gemini, and Gemini has the answer. Well, soya is only the best type of seasoned meat ever, and let me just show you guys an image of what soya looks like. And this is also from Gemini. So let's get into Gmail. Let me check how many permission emails I have. Um, so I'm just going to ask Gemini. And it provides an accurate analysis and information on that. So let's get into Google Drive. So let's search for my birth certificate um, on Google Drive. I'm happy to know that my birth certificate is actually here on Google Drive. Okay, so so something amazing here is that once you click on the file it redirects you to the actual file so you can easily search for youtube videos here i was trying to find my video on how to use canva so it didn't bring up my video however it brought up a video close to it and i think this must be um seo related but ensure that you definitely check out my youtube video on how to use canva on aniotis tv so let's try out general prompt so gemini provides suggestions and that's just what we are going to try here something i like about the responses on gemini is the additional um tips and bonuses so this is something to definitely try you can use gemini to create and um edit and review emails and as always um it would definitely provide um additional tips so yeah this is an email sample you can use it to create samples this is the additional tip and you can also use it to um, analyze and review maybe an existing email that you have so um, i think we're going to try another prompt Gemini is definitely an amazing tool for travel research but the information provided is not 100% accurate so platforms like the travel planning company that I will be launching this year will be totally needed. Anyways, let's ask Gemini specific questions. So I'm going to ask Gemini for a conclusion. Um, let's see what Gemini gives me. So we have a response, option one, focus on potential, option two, spark curiosity, option three, highlight accessibility. So, so I'm going to go with option three. So thanks to advanced AI like Gemini, knowledge and understanding are becoming more accessible than ever. People use this power responsibly, inclusively and for good. Thank you so much for watching people. Ensure to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section if this tutorial was helpful and if you'll be working with Google Gemini. Thank you guys once again. Bye guys and stay tuned for more videos on the how-to series.